a lot of times when you have slippage in the heel of a shoe, yeah. um, we can lace it this way. What you do is you come out and come back in on the same side up here in the last set of laces that you're going to use and you create an extra eyelet and you do the same thing on the other side. You take the lace that you have left and you go across and through that opposite loop. So the lace that I have left over here, I bring over and come through the opposite loose loop. So I've created an extra eyelet and you just kind of cinch it. It puts a lot of stress on the eyelets but it pulls in in two directions. So it pulls the heel in tighter. You feel that tightening? Yes. And it'll keep your heel in the shoe a little better. See your heel? It won't pull out. So that's a, a lacing technique that'll help when you have slippage in the heel. The reason for using this technique is if you have a foot with a high end step or you might have a bump or something on the top of the foot you want to take pressure off conventional lacing like this when you pull this tight it pulls down on the top of the foot so we're going to lace it so that the laces come straight across and we start we start by coming from the outside in, getting your, eases, your laces even, and we're going to go up on the inside of the shoe, one eyelet on the one side, and two eyelets on the other side. So the laces no longer line up with each other. Now from here on, we're gonna go two eyelets each time. I picked a shoe here that has less eyelets so that we can see this, but we come across and outside in, outside in, and then up two eyelets on the inside and come back out. Come across, outside in, and you would go up two eyelets, but since we're at the top of the shoe there's only one eyelet, so we'll just go up one and we have ended up together at the top. Now when I put this shoe on Les's foot, the downside to this is that when you pull this, like you pull a lace conventionally, the shoe doesn't tighten up. You need to realize that this controls this lace this controls the second lace. So you start at the bottom and you get it tight and then work your way up. Now I want to tighten that. Now when you have a shoe that has six or seven eyelets, these are going to be closer, you get the bottom part the way you want it and you only work with the last two eyelets or so. This is pulling in from the sides of the shoe. There's not as much pressure on the top of the foot. Now I got it tight. It's just con I tie it conventionally at that point. Now, you don't feel nearly as much pressure on the top of the foot, do you? No. And it's, it's, a, it's a kind of lacing system that a lot of times is picked up as a fashion item because it looks neat to have the laces that way, but there is a functional reason for it. Now sometimes people will only do part of the shoe with the straight across lace. They'll come up conventionally to the spot where they have trouble and then they'll go into this mode and then finish off. Of course with a lot of the new shoes with the lacing loops and so forth, you sometimes can't use this technique. It works best with conventional eyelets. And again, the idea is just to prevent or limit pressure on the top of the foot. It's supposed to be one of the best ways to lace your shoes.